Hello everyone, this is Tom Robbins and welcome to my weekly video blog where today we're going to talk about SharePoint 2013 and how to use the filter web part. Okay, so let's just dive right into this. There are about 25 or 30 out-of-the-box web parts that Microsoft ships with SharePoint 2013. And some of them are very simple and obvious in what they do, and some of them require some significant configuration, sometimes even learning to write some language, uh, some coding. Um, but uh, so what I want to do is break down how to use the, uh, the filter web part. So the filter web part allows us to filter based on metadata in lists or libraries so that we can customize the look and feel of the pages to suit our audience. So it's you know similar to audience targeting, but it's not audience targeting. It's basically page configuration and customization based on the user and um, what the user may be searching for. So let's get started. I've got a task list here. To show you I've got a task list and I'll just scroll down and you'll notice that my tasks just for uh, ease of demonstration are, are, are each associated with a specific project phase. So you'll notice I've got the phase here and then initiation, planning phase, execution phase, control phase, close phase, those types of things. So that's okay. It's no brainer there, right? But then I also have a document library that has documents, and these documents are uh, are classified and categorized by phase as well. So initiation phase, planning phase, control phase, execution phase. Well, what I'd like to do is see both of these, uh, the document library and the task list on the same page, but I'd like to be able to quickly filter out and only see certain phases. Let's say I just want to see... Uh, documents in the initiation phase alongside of tasks in the initiation phase. So I've got a completed page here to show you what I'm talking about. You'll notice over here on the right I've got the document library and there's no filtering occurring right now and I've got my task list and there's no filtering occurring on the task list but you'll notice up here at the top I've placed a choice filter and I can simply start typing in you know what I want to what I want to search on or I can pick from this drop down uh, box over here on the right. So notice if I choose initiation phase. Now I just see the documents that are in the initiation phase and I just see the tasks that are in the initiation phase. So it allows me to filter what's being seen on the page. I can switch to the planning phase let's say. Notice documents in the planning phase and tasks that are in the planning phase. Or I can clear my filter and go back to using the default view for each one. So that's basically what the filter uh, web part or the choice filter web part will allow you to do. So let's just take a look at another page where I have uh, have not yet built that filter web part. Um, so I'm just going to open up that page and I think I called it filter page 2. So notice here's filter page 2. There's no choice filter web part on this page yet. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So first let's go into edit mode and then on this wiki page just here above the task list we'll insert from the filters the choice filter web part. Okay so now that web part will be on the page and it acts a little bit strange notice it's 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 not behaving like a normal web part yet you actually have to click on it to make the web part toolbar appear up here at the top and then open the web part properties once we've done that, we have to come in and give it the actual values that will match the phases within the task list as well as the document library. So that was the initiation phase, the planning phase, the execution phase, the control phase, and the close phase. Okay, and then we'll just apply those. And now, if we scroll back up, notice you'll see that uh, that the uh, web part has actually changed its behavior a little bit. Now there's a, a uh, an expand window here that allows you to do connections. So what we have to do is connect this web part to the document library and the task list and tell it to filter based on our choice. So we do that here with the web part connections. So under connections, we're going to send the values in the choice filter first over here to our task list. 
okay? And what we want to do is get filter values and we're going to tie them to the phase field. Okay, so basically all I did was say we're going to filter on the phase field. Okay, so we did that for the task list. Now let's go ahead and do it again for the document library. Notice the task list is checked. Now we'll do it for the document library. Same thing, we want to get filter values from the phase field and click finish. Okay, and we'll just come over here and name the filter phase filter, something like that. And that's pretty much all we have to do. Click OK. And now when we save the page, Okay, so now that the page is saved, let's test the filter out and see if it works. So we'll click on Initiation Phase. And notice our documents on the right are filtered by initiation and our tasks on the left, so forth and so on, as we go down the list here. Pretty great way for you to give the users the ability to filter out what they see on the screen when it comes from multiple lists and libraries. And the only thing sort of missing here is the way to clear this out and go back to no filter at all. So one of the options on the choice filter web part, if we go back into the web part properties, is the ability under advanced filter options to show an empty value. Okay, and basically that clears your filter. Let's save our page and just check and see if that works. So we've got a planning. So we're seeing planning documents and planning tasks, but then we want to clear the filter. We can go back to empty. Okay. I hope you learned a lot about how to use the choice filter today. Please stay tuned for uh, subsequent video blog posts where we'll talk about how to use other exciting and productive SharePoint uh, web parts.